back at the restore screen now. I don't have the hard drive format number, so we'll just hit enter, enter again. Okay, this part will take a while. It's copying the files from the master CD, such as the programs like Navigator, um, Microsoft Works, um, the games, and most importantly, Windows 95. And while it's doing this, real quick, I want to show you something that I found the other day while I was going through some of my old stuff. This right here is the manual that came with this Packard Bell computer. So let's um, take a quick look at it. I hope I can let's see. If I can. Okay. Welcome to the world of multimedia computing. Your new PC is one of the most versatile and powerful tools in the world. With it, with it, you can increase efficiency and open new and exciting doors of education, creativity, adventure, and fun. Write letters and other documents from a simple memo to the world's greatest novel. Enjoy on-screen video experiences. Listen to music CDs in 3D, in 3D amphitheater stereo surround. Discover the world of animation, motion picture images, and stereo sounds that teach and entertain. Strengthen your, fi your financial management with the latest techniques and information. I think financials misspelled there. Perform mathematical wonders through the use of spreadsheets. Organize records with databases. Explore the information superhighway by accessing incredible online services and information about practically every subject you, th you can think of using the built-in modem in your phone line. Do they even call it the Information Superhighway anymore? Play exciting games that ta challenge your skill and imagination. Access Packard Bell's library of electronic manuals. Control all of your multimedia resources with Packard Bell's media controller, your on-screen virtual remote control. See the keyboard section on page 73 for Packard Bell's new Fast Media Access the feature. Packard Bell's specially designed navigator program is waiting to be your guide as you explore the wonderful new world of multimedia. Wow. <laughs> and, and notice it makes no mention of DVD. Very interesting. Okay, uh... Where it is so far. Hold on, I gotta scratch my elbow. Okay, Let's see what's on page two. Okay, the contents. Yeah, copyright 1996. Um, by the way, I was going through some of the paperwork that originally came with this computer from the original owners of this computer. It turns out this computer was purchased at a, a Sears Roebuck in in September 1996 in, in somewhere in Florida. Because I know when I bought it, it was in Thomasville, North Carolina, just about 30 miles from me. And also, like I said, this was bought in September of 1996. My original Packard Bell, we bought it in December 1995, so this one's about 10 or 11 months newer than the original one. It's still going there. Let's see. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, it just tells you how to set it up, connect the keyboard, connect the mouse, connect the speakers, connect the monitor. Connect the modem, connect the microphone, the connect the power cords. This tells you good ergonomic steps to use. personality there. 
And this tells you about screen resolutions. You got 640 by 480, 800 by 600, and 1024 by 768. I usually keep mine at 640 by 480 because most of the programs I use require that. 800 by 600, it, it works. However, 1024 by 768, I've never been able to get that to work on this computer. It just, um, all I get is a blank screen. And um, I guess the graphics card just can't support that such a high resolution. So I just keep it at... 640 by 480 and it tells you about navigator oh, that wind is horrible out there I had a drive in that wind this morning and I felt like my car was about to tip over We have the Packard Bell Media Controller. I use it every now and then, but not often. Apparently, um, Back then, I'm um, on select Packard Bell Systems. It had a TV tuner card. Now that is just bizarre because both both of the both Packard Bell both Packard Bell computers I've ever had do not have one of those. The original one didn't, and that one doesn't. Which, um, by the way, I think is pretty advanced for its time, considering this was like 1995, 1996. Video allows selection of cable or VCR viewing. Again, notice no mention of DVD. <laughs> okay, that's sufficient enough. And a few minutes later, success. The restoration was successfully completed. Okay, we'll just um. Click. Okay. Okay, restore completed for the change for changes to take effect. The system must be restarted. Remove all discs and CDs and reboot the system. Okay. Exit. Okay, we got the got a DOS prompt there, so let's just uh Okay, eject this floppy so it won't boot from it again. Click Control Alt Delete. 